Ever since that first Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, we thought that Ganondorf would return and be the main villain of the sequel. However, we may be about to get the return of something even worse, a more ancient evil than Ganondorf himself, and that could be Demise. But today, I'm going to have a look at the clues for Demise's return to the Legend of Zelda series, look at the role of Malice, and what could lead to Demise's return in Breath of the Wild 2. Well, if you're new around to here or find this useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for all the latest Legend of Zelda content, and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, before we get stuck into the video today, let me know down in the comments who you think is going to be the main villain of Breath of the Wild 2. Well, the first Breath of the Wild 2 trailer back in 2019 revealed that the malice that corrupted so much of Hyrule in the original Breath of the Wild was pouring out of what looked like to be a mummified Ganondorf. Now, while this trailer sent the Zelda community into overdrive, you know, coming up with theories all related to Ganondorf, you know, I think we could be in for a surprise when it comes to the main villain in Breath of the Wild 2. You know, that villain may not be Ganondorf, it may be Demise. Well, Demise was introduced to us in the canonical first game of the timeline, and that was Skyward Sword. So Demise was the embodiment of evil, and for much of the game, took a monster form. Now, he was a dark creature with big legs and hundreds of teeth, and was known as the Imprisoned. Now, this is the form Demise took after being sealed away in Farron Woods by Goddess Hylia, and then his servant Girahim freed Demise, and then he took on a more familiar form. Well, Demise is characterised by his fiery hair, his big build and his broad shoulders, you know, really, really similar to Ganondorf in previous Zelda games like Twilight Princess, and also his design in Super Smash Bros. Demise cursed the descendants of Link and Zelda to fight against Demise's hatred for generations, and this hatred spawned monsters that plagued Hyrule and eventually reincarnated as Ganondorf. However, Malice is the physical manifestation of Demise's hatred, the black substance that plagues Hyrule in Breath of the Wild, and most likely in Breath of the Wild 2 also. Well, let's have a closer look at why Demise could be the main villain in Breath of the Wild 2. So Breath of the Wild 2 and Skyward Sword share a lot in common, and not only through the design and the presentation. When Nintendo released Skyward Sword HD back in 2021 for Nintendo Switch, and rather than that be a coincidence, and I think Nintendo really wants fans to play through Skyward Sword because it offers hints to the future of the Zelda story. You know, in Skyward Sword, it was revealed that Malice creates all monsters in Hyrule, and it can often be seen when monsters are defeated, with red, black and purple clouds being left behind. It's thought that given Malice is so prevalent in Breath of the Wild, this could indicate that Demise is about to return. Well, in that E3 2019 trailer for Breath of the Wild 2, we see Link and Zelda travelling underground, and they find a mummified version of Ganondorf trapped in place by a glowing green arm. Yeah, Malice is seen to be pouring out of the supposed Ganondorf corpse, and the corpse twitches. There's a brilliant flash of bright light, and we see a shadow broadcast onto the wall. And that doesn't look like a shadow of a gaunt mummified Ganondorf, but the shadow of a bulkier figure, one with a shock of long hair, you know, is this shadow revealing Demise himself? So the shadow and the images of Demise from Skyward Sword, they are very, very similar. Well, in that E3 2021 trailer, we briefly see the mummified version of Ganondorf arms raised, looking wild, seeming with the ability to control the Malice as it's attacking Link, perhaps at the will of Ganondorf himself. Well, Malice appears to be flooding out of the mummified version of Ganondorf, and this is perhaps Link and Zelda may have broken the seal, you know, that glowing green arm holding him in place. Now, with that seal broken, that leaves Malice and Demise to flow freely from the body of Ganondorf. Well, also, we've got those glowing red eyes. They are another clue. We see in the trailers so far for Breath of the Wild 2, the mummified version of Ganondorf has glowing red eyes. This isn't normally a characteristic of Ganondorf, but of Demise himself. In both the E3 trailers from 2019 and 2021, the mummified corpse has piercing fiery eyes, you know, not similar to eyes we've seen before on Ganondorf, much more similar to Demise himself. 
Well, there are a few clues there about the potential villain for Breath of the Wild 2, but I quickly want to take a look at the short history of Demise in the Legend of Zelda series. Well, Demise was an eternal entity that conquered time itself. So when the Golden Goddesses departed the world, they trusted the ultimate power, the Triforce, in the hands of Hylia to protect it. However, Demise, wanting the Triforce to make the world his own, gathered an army of monsters and together launched an attack against the people of the surface, murdering them and causing misfortunes to get their hands on the power guarded by Hylia. Well, to prevent the great power from falling into the hands of Demise, Hylia and the five tribes who lived on the surface joined forces and fought back against the Demon King and his forces in a war, which would end with Demise sealed away and peace restored to the land. So due to the seal placed on him, he assumes the monstrous form as the imprisoned for the majority of Skyward Sword. Well, next up, let's have a look at how he got resurrected. So Girahim, who's actually the spirit of Demise's sword, pursues Zelda to steal her soul and thus resurrect Demise, who is his master. Well, meanwhile, Demise attempts to break free of his seal by his own means in the form of the imprisoned, but he's constantly repelled and resealed beneath the sealed grounds through the efforts of Link and Groose. So when Link finally obtains the Triforce, he manages to kill Demise by driving the statue of the goddess from Skyloft into the sealed grounds as the imprisoned awakens for the fourth time. However, Girahim kidnaps Zelda and takes her to the pass through the Gate of Time in the sealed temple where he begins the ritual to revive his master. So while Link manages to defeat Girahim, he's too late to stop the resurrection of Demise and the imprisoned begins to absorb Zelda's soul and eventually transforms into the Demon King himself. You know, Girahim welcomes back his master, but Demise pulls a dark sword out of Girahim and seals his entity within the weapon. Demise continues to absorb the soul of Zelda to gain unstoppable power. You know, he's impressed with Link's determination to protect the goddess and invites him to do battle, but to Demise's shock, Link manages to defeat him, and in his dying throes, he warns Link that it's not over, and that an incarnation of his hatred will be reborn in being to pursue domination of the world, as well as those of the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, in a cycle of rebirth. Basically, Link and Zelda have to fight the spirit of the hatred of Demise for eternities to come. Well, Demise is sealed away within the Master Sword, where his remains begin to decay. Well, given we've seen that the Master Sword is decaying or is damaged in the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, this could indicate Demise's escape from the Master Sword in conjunction with the malice flooding Hyrule once again. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of Demise being the main villain in Breath of the Wild 2. I would love to hear what you think. Well, that is it for this look at the villain in Breath of the Wild 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Legend of Zelda content like this, hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. Or you can check me out on Twitter at Triforce Times. Well, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing it would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.